A lot about this too. Only medical marijuana is legal in Florida and you must have a medical card to get it. But there's a type of hemp that's being sold legally in hundreds of convenience stores across the Tampa Bay area and well it could be dangerous. 10 Tampa Bay's Jenny Dean is here to explain the potential impacts of Delta 8 THC. Yeah, Delta 8 THC is sometimes called marijuana light. It is a derivative of the more common Delta 9 THC, which is restricted. Now, they are edibles that can be bought over the counter, often packaged to look like common candies or even snacks. And that's one of the big concerns here is that this could get into the hands of a child. And there's good reason for those concerns. Calls to poison control about Delta H. THC are way up. Check this out. This is in Florida alone. Back in 2020, they took 77 calls about this. In just 2022, there have already been 503. It's becoming popular because it's easily accessible. In Florida, it's perfectly legal for certain stores to sell Delta 8 THC products. But some of the convenience stores and a lot of the smoke shops actually have the hemp food permit and they're selling Delta 8 edibles. Hillsborough County Code Enforcement snapped these pictures at stores around the county after commissioners asked them to look into the product, but their hands are tied. Anything that has 0.3% or less Delta 9 THC is considered legal now by the uh, 2018 Farm Bill. And since the products are not FDA regulated, it's hard to know exactly what's in them and how much to even take. Delta 8 will actually has psychoactive properties just like Delta 9. They actually call it marijuana light. Um, so it will, it will get you high, it, you know, will have an effect on the body. Um, and so that's one of the concerns that, you know, that it could fall into the hands of kids. And according to poison control, taking too much Delta 8 THC can cause a number of issues. Hallucinations, agitation, um, it can make you sleepy, lethargic. You could have disruption in your ability to have your blood um, pump, so your blood pressure, your heart rate, your respiratory rate, and then it could also develop into severe symptoms such as seizures or coma. And if you're concerned that you or someone you know has ingested too much, especially if it's a child, call poison control. We have very highly skilled and trained nurses, pharmacists, physicians who answer that phone line. So nationally, I want to show you these numbers. These are calls to poison control that they re received in just a year's time. Nearly 2,400 calls of exposure to Delta THC between January 1st of last year and February of this year. 41% of those calls involved kids. That is why this is concerning, is because this could be getting into the hands of kids. One of those cases did result in a death. My goodness, a good heads up for parents this morning. Let's take a deeper dive into Delta H THC and why it's becoming so popular. Delta 8. The 2018 federal farm bill legalized hemp, defining it as containing less than 0.3% Delta 9 THC. Said nothing about Delta 8, but it does fall into that category. We talked to Dr. Ziva Cooper, director of the UCLA Center for Cannabis and Cannabinoids. She said there are two major concerns with Delta 8 you know, Delta 8 THC hasn't necessarily been studied extensively. We think it probably acts very similarly to Delta 9 THC, just you need higher doses. But also the actual products that are available for purchase haven't been regulated um, to the same level as a lot of the other cannabis-based products. Now to read more about Delta 8 THC, look for this story on our website, 10tampabay.com.